Hi guys, today we have this Colnago eGRV or eGravel and it occupies the rather niche uh, area of an eGravel bike which is interesting in itself. It's here from a shop and it's a customer's bike and the shop feel that the customer hasn't quite told them the full story of how the establish came to be so we're not quite sure how it happened um, but it's here for this mark on the seat tube. The shop were pretty confident it was just paint it doesn't feel like there's any delamination on it, um, it's, it's, it's not soft anywhere, it doesn't appear to have any impact marks or the fracture lines because the, the lines here look quite neat. So they wanted to send it to us anyway to restore the paint um, but also to check it out and we've now got it, we've checked it out and it is actually a small fracture. Um, it's quite a hard area to diagnose because you can't really flex it because it's in quite a thick part of the frame. Um, so what we did was we had to use an endoscope to go through the bottom bracket into the area and you can just see slightly from where it's fractured. Um, so we need a small bit of carbon work first and then we can restore the paint. The paint's pretty straightforward, it's just one matte colour and the carbon is also pretty straightforward because it's quite a small area. I'm restoring this grey Colnago today and as you can see I've got a little repair to do there. I have already mixed my first attempt at this colour with doesn't look too bad. I think I need to add some more white and some more yellow. And we will keep repeating this process until we get it perfect. Okay, hopefully third time lucky. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, so I've left this dry and I'm happy with the colour. So now I'm going to brush it out and sort of fade the colour in a little bit. It uh, will never be 100% perfect, but this is close enough that if I brush it out, it will be virtually undetectable. So this Conargo e-gravel is all complete and as you can see there's no evidence of the damage that was there before so another success for our carbon and spray teams. If you've got any damage on your frame where you're not sure if it's cosmetic or if it's carbon damage then you're always welcome to email us um, on info at carbonbikerepair.co.uk. Uh, we're doing a QA and a session soon so if you've got any carbon questions or any questions to do with the carbon or rest restoration process then please leave some comments below.